to go even further beyond! Yeah, I can finally put the background music back on because that Ultra Instinct Goku error is finally gone. But um, my name is Akashi, and in this video, we're going to be going through the advent of Freeze of the Universal Emperor. It's going to be a quick guide showing you what to do so you can get the EX first form Freezer to actually Zenkai 7 as fast as you can. You could actually go fast or you can go slow, but I'm going to show you guys like literally everything you can do to do that because. Um, it's a free unit, so why not Zenkai him? You don't have to soul boost him straight away, but the fact that he's free, you should definitely go for him. I'm not going to actually go too crazy on the plugins or make this video very long. I'm going to keep it very brief and give you all the information you need as fast as I can. So we're going to go into the event right here. and You're going to see that there's two sections, normal and hard. However, when you first open it, you won't have the hard section available to you. So you're going to have the normal section as the default difficulty. And you're going to see there's all these battles here all the way to this end one where it ends with Super Saiyan Goku as the image but what you're gonna want to do is actually clear all the challenges in every single battle so the challenges I mean these where they give the Chrono Crystals is gonna help you out getting Chrono Crystals and whatnot and some um, rare medals and pretty much they're just beneficial to you obviously it's Chrono Crystals and rare medals like you can use them for stuff in the shop and Chrono Crystals you need them to summon but um, it will actually help you out later in terms of the missions, which I'm going to go through in the missions tab. But I'm going to go through that at the, later on in the video, probably near the end. So we'll go through all of these and clear all the challenges. Then once you get to the end and clear this one, even if you don't clear all the challenges, as long as you get to the end, you unlock the hard section. Now the hard section is the same thing. You go through the same thing, like just clearing everything, Chrono Crystals and whatnot. But once you get to this one here and you clear it, you unlock these three battles. Now these three battles are the most important things, not necessarily this bottom one here, but these two at the top. They're very vital to you actually making progress in terms of Zenkai Awakening EX First Form Freezer. So if we go into this one here, this is actually the most vital one. It's called Awakening Battle. And what this one actually provides you is a way to continuously grind Awakening Z Power using your energy and skip tickets. So I actually haven't gone through this, so I can't actually use my skip tickets and energy tickets. Um, because I haven't cleared it yet, but that's why I advise you you do all the challenges to get the Chrono Crystals. Because once you actually clear all the challenges, you'll be able to use skip tickets and energy tickets. So for this one especially, you can literally use anybody I'd be using Vegeta or Blue. I'm going to make sure that I actually get the 140 time account so I can get the challenge complete. Uh, but yeah, this one is basically just continuously using skip tickets and energies to actually get the Awakening Z power. You'll probably get around 50 every single 10 energies. And for the first time clear, you actually get 500 Awakening Z power for first form Freezer, which is pretty nice. But after the first time clear, you're probably getting only 50, around 50 Awakening Z power every 10 energies. Now, beyond that, we've got these two other battles, but I'm going to go to the top one because it's more important than the bottom one. The top one here is a battle that you can do every single day. Now, after the first time you clear it, and if you get all the challenges, you can use skip tickets every single day. And it guarantees you 100 Awakening Z power for first form Freezer. Now, um, these EX Zenkais, they're meant to last a very long time. Like, if we even go all the way out, um, and you actually see that there's the, uh, what you call it, Nappa, Raditz, and Vegeta, they're still there. Like, they haven't moved. They don't even have an expiry date the same way, like, for example, Beerus has one day left, Kaba says one day left. They don't have an expiry date. And that's because they're here to stay for a pretty long time. So if I go into the news section real quick and actually check, there's two things I want to check for um, the freezer event. Hopefully it doesn't take forever to load here. All right, cool, it's loaded. I'm going to go down to the Zenkai Awakening for freezer. It's actually going to show you, um, it should it should show you how long the event's going to go on for. But I believe it doesn't. And the fact that it doesn't means that the event is, is going to really be here. For a very long time like a very long time there's no expiry date it probably won't even move correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but these events are here to stay so definitely make sure to just take your time i don't advise going crazy with the energies and skip tickets because like there's no point they're gonna be here forever unless you just really want them to actually just use the characters but the characters are generally not that good i can't speak on ex first form freezer because i actually haven't looked into him but if we look at nappa uh, raditz and uh vegeta nappa is quite exceptional but raditz and vegeta are not that good 
So you can't expect much from an EX in the first place, even though they are free and they are a Zenkai. It is worth it to grind them, but to go ahead and do it all in one day and use all your energy and skip tickets, I do not recommend doing that. So this one here, you play every day, you'll be getting 100 Z power every single day, and it requires 7,000 Awakening Z power to actually get the full uh, Zenkai 7. So that would be by doing this every single day, that's a 70 days basically. Pretty simple. But if you wanted to go ahead and speed up the process, you'd be doing this one. But you also do get 500 Z power from the first time clear. This one at the bottom is a challenge battle. Um, it's just a chrono reward type thing. And the only thing that I can imagine like that they do, they do, there's a requirement that you have to use a Zenkai 1 or higher EX first form freezer. So if you do not have him Zenkai 1, that's the reason why you actually cannot do it. You need to Zenkai awaken him to at least Zenkai 1 first, then you'll be able to tackle this. And I'm pretty sure that you have you don't have to bring him by himself, but you have to at least bring him at a Zenkai 1 level. Then you'll be able to get the rewards, the Chrono Crystals here, and then you get the first 50 for the first time clear. Now that I've actually gone through the event, pretty simple. We're going to head over to the missions tab just to end off the video, the overall guide. Um, in the missions tab, there's sets of missions where you can actually get Chrono Crystals and all rewards. People always ask me about them. You're going to see here, um, literally complete 15 challenges. Da, 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 da. And if you just clear all the challenges, it makes it easier for you. Um, when it says the challenges, that's overall like everything in here. So like I've KO'd lots of characters because I've gone through it. Missions, just, just sorting it out basically, everything that I can do. The missions I'm referring to, like these missions here, like KR character, then it will go up. The challenges... It's just clearing the battle, then you can also get Z power for him. Something I should have said earlier, but you can only Zenkai awaken him if you have him to seven stars at minimum. But the event should give you a lot of Z power to actually be able to do that. And then finally, people ask, how do you get like all the challenges complete? Because you want to get the Chrono Crystals, right? This one here, like I told you, it takes 7,000 awakening Z power to get into Zenkai 7. So once you get to Zenkai 7, you actually clear this challenge, which will enable you to get the Chrono Crystals from... Uh, this challenge here where it says 30 but yeah that pretty much wraps up the guide for Zenkai Awakening first form freezer just follow the the steps that I've pretty much showed you and make sure to clear everything like some things are quite easy like it says clear a story 50 times pretty much I'm pretty sure that you have to actually use uh, energy you can use skip tickets um, for this one but it's just quite a hassle like you'd actually have to use your resources and the KO character you'd actually have to play so I advise playing one of the ones that have free characters so you can get through it pretty fast and you can auto that. Just let the computer play for you. And yeah, you can pretty much get easy chronos for you to actually uh, go ahead and Zenkai awaken whoever you want or summon on whoever you want. But um, yeah, like I don't want to ramble on. That pretty much wraps up the video. Go ahead and get your souls and whatnot. Go ahead and Zenkai awaken him. Take your time. I advise you take your time. Do not rush. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button on this grind to 15k. Hopefully this was useful to somebody. If it was, let me know in the comments. I will, of course, eventually get to that, uh, to, to reply into that comment. But yeah, that's all I pretty much got to say. My name is Akashi, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one.